Can I stand up here? You can see my wife quite worried about that. <laughs> oh, no. uh, I'm sure I'm stable on that. I'm not nervous because I'm just going to take a bit of Right, I hope what you find by the end of the day, I hope, I hope you find this an interesting interpretation of what used to go on in this area. The board tells its own story, but and you probably know much of it yourselves anyway. But uh, as I say, I hope you find this interesting. And I'm going to start by introducing Ben McPherson, who most of you will know our MSP. And we also have our MP here, here to Brock. Further, uh, among our political representatives, we have members here from the Leith and New Haven Community Council. Uh, and we really are we're particularly well served in North Edinburgh for diligent, careful politicians. Long may that last. Um, ben Wolf. Ben and Deirdre will uh, unveil the board in a minute. I'd just like to say a few words firstly about myself um, and Ian Anderson. I live over there on Rennie's Isle, about 100 metres away. And the better part, 50 years ago, about 100 metres that way, I turned up as a trainee customs officer. Uh, I'll, I'll just point to for the sake of clarity, I do mean in the customers, I don't mean in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Although some people may dispute that. Um, I'm a member of a small uh, campaign group, I suppose you would call it, uh, SOS Leaf. Um, and we have been pressing the last couple of years for uh, the upkeep and for improvements to our environmental surroundings and by that we very much include uh, the built environment and our heritage and that's really why we're here today. Um, all around you is the heritage, uh, you, you know that for yourself, you can see it for yourself. A wee challenge for you presently that I want you to undertake in your own time. But when we first arrived on Rennie's Isle we wondered about the address, we started looking into it um, and came across this guy Rennie uh, who in fact turned out to be the head of a bit of a dynasty um, of civil engineers and there were other dynasties as well. Um, we found out that John Rennie is now in the Scottish Hall of Fame of the institution of civil engineers. We are rep we are represented here today. Thank you very much. Salute. Um, they were of great assistance in the uh, formulation of what went on to this board uh, and I thank them very, very much for that. Uh, Celia's dad was a civil engineer. That was about as much as we knew about civil engineering uh, at the time. So um, the board, of course, like any distillation of, of information, is, was, is an exercise in what to leave out. So what is there, we hope, is the highlights of our research over the last year or so. Uh, and I'm sure you'll find it of interest. I hope, I would like to think it may even serve to inspire uh, some people for the future. I certainly hope that the local population um, will take an interest in it. I'm sure they will. We're quite surprised at the number of people uh, who didn't know that in fact what you're looking at over there, these car parks, were all got. So uh, we never did it alone, there are accreditations uh, at the bottom of the board, I'm not going to mention every organisation that was involved, you'll see that for yourself. We did get apologies this morning, no one was this meeting. They didn't really take any part in the construction of this board. Uh, but over the last year or so, they've been invaluable in giving us advice uh, on how to work things like objections to planning applications. <laughs> uh, so, you know, the Coburn Association is not just about the new time, they are prepared to uh, put input um, into other areas of Edinburgh. I'm going to hand over to Ben in a second. 
going to give you the challenge now. And the challenge is for you on a day of your choosing, uh, at your own pace, with a partner of your choosing if you wish, uh, to go along the ocean terminal and enter ocean terminal, main entrance, look straight ahead, and you'll see a shop there, shop, uh, an office shop, what's it called? Um, unit. A unit. Yeah. Which is called the Wee Museum of History. And that is a joint collaboration between the Living Memory Association and the excellent Spirit of Leithers Group. And both those organisations are represented here today. Go in, have a look at the rolling exhibition that we've got there, chat with the staff and have a look at the exhibits, have a look at the, the, the pictures, all the pictures of Leith. In particular, there's one that I know is hanging up now, it's on the left hand side as you go in, and it's an area of photograph of the dock. along there as well and then and my favorite aspect have a look for the gorgeous rectangular ashwa paving stones which actually delineate the side of the of, of the dock if you step off one of those rounded ashwa blocks you'd be going into the dock and then when you've done that come back go into the pub Get a John to buy you a pint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a in Yarrow. <laughs> um, and then come outside and look at our re engineering gem here. Along to all of us, John's a caretaker over the next year or two, and we're very grateful to him for that uh, as a community. But uh, this really is, this was the pinnacle, this was marvellous pre-Victorian engineering uh, and we're very lucky to have it in our midst. Now Ben's going to say a few words, he's going to unveil the board along with Gabriel Brock and then we're going to retire to uh, Chukters, we'll follow John back into Chukters uh, for something left. Okay, thank you very much. And then also to get into the wonderful Chukters Landing for, to use Ian's words, something wet. Um, although the food's very good too, I should add. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for uh, asking both myself and Deer Creek to, to be with you today um, on this mostly beautiful sunny day here in Leith, a crisp autumn day. And really what I want to do is to emphasise on behalf of many in the community my and our really deep thanks to SOS Leith and all the organisations involved in making this happen because it really has been a community-led initiative 
and it will be a community enriching initiative. Because what we're recognising today is our shared heritage, the importance of engineering and the importance of preservation and thinking about preservation in the current situation that we're all in where we need to collectively think about the solutions ahead of us of how we enhance our well-being in our built environment and look after the natural environment as part of that and that's what engineers were focused on in the past <laughs> many engineers are focused on that today uh, but at points we have lost our way and it's great to see this re-alignment of the importance uh, 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 an understanding of the importance and appreciation of the importance of preservation and of both remembering our past and trying to renew and enjoy the environment around us and to uh, rather than demolish to rejuvenate and of course what Ian said about what John is undertaking here will add much to the local environment in that regard and we are pleased that Fourth Courts are also going to be uh, rejuvenating the swing bridge, uh, the Victoria Swing Bridge not so far from here, which will create a really interesting and helpful and enjoyable walking experience here uh, to an even greater extent. There's so much we could say about the history of this place <coughs> and about the heritage of Leith when it comes to engineering and our maritime past. And Ian's touched on a lot of that. But I want to actually focus on another dynamic to what we're unveiling today, which is the importance of interpretation boards like this. Some of you might not know that um, my father, before he retired, was an exhibition and gallery space designer. So um, the importance of telling stories, remembering what had ha what's happened, and bringing history to life in a way that people can enjoy and digest has been part of my upbringing and something that I've always valued. And I think what's particularly great about really well presented, well drafted, well edited, engaging interpretation boards like this is that they spark something amongst people who might not have that insight. There are so many of you here today who know Lee's history very, very well and have a real appreciation for it. But there will be many, and this isn't a criticism of them, who walk this way who really won't know the backstory. But thanks to the efforts of the community and the design and quality and input that's gone into creating this, there will be a greater appreciation, a greater insight, a greater enjoyment of our collective story because of this interpretation board. And I'm also hoping it will inspire, because I think that's an important point that was made. You know, I think about other places in the city that we all go past, whether it's you know, the house of uh, James Clark Maxwell in the New Town, or the home of Adam Smith. Um, you know, the history of our city is incredible. And each time it makes you think, not just of what has happened, but what is possible. And the great importance of engineering, and I had the, the, the pleasure and the privilege of working for an engineering company for, for a part of, of my career before going into politics, a short part, but an important part. The great thing about engineers is that they're solution focused. And they think about not just the problem and all the challenge of that, but actually what do we need to do to make a difference. And at this time of challenge, particularly when it comes to biodiversity, looking after our environment and tackling climate change, we need that perhaps more than we, we ever have. So I'm hoping that it will inspire young people to go into engineering, people to consider the story of our past, maybe some of the civil servants in there, to take a bit, <laughs> uh, even more inspiration, um, and for us to uh, remember, but also be inspired. And I would just want to say one thing lastly, which I think is important as well, particularly in the spirit that we're all in, having come through the pandemic together, which is about recognising everyone's contributions. Ian rightly said one of the biggest challenges in doing this interpretation board would have been what to leave out as well as what to leave in. And I think one thing that our history maybe doesn't do as well as it could and maybe should is recognise that while there are giants and greats um, like John Rennie who were the, the, the figurehead, the person remembered in history, of course, the people who made these enclosed dots 
played an equal and important part. The, the, the labourers, the people who did the graft, often at huge personal risk back in those days. So, um, as well as recognising John Reddy, let's also recognise and remember all the other people that played a part in making this happen. So, that's my thoughts on where we are today. Um, that's my thoughts on what difference I think this will make. Um, but most of all, I just want to emphasise on behalf of the community, on behalf of Deirdre and I, how grateful we are to everyone who's played a part in making this happen uh, and how good a thing it is that it's going to be here, it's going to be of interest for locals and visitors alike and hopefully it might spark some innovation and inspiration for the next generations. Thank you for listening and let's see it!